3D printed anamorphic text, text that can be transformed into other texts like this one here. Pretty cool, right? Today I'll be showing you how to create this in a fun, easy and simple way, right here on That Techo Guy. Let's begin our anamorphic text here. This is going to be quite easy. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Fusion 360. Click Create Sketch. I'll create it right here from the front part. And do Create. And we're going to start with Text. I'm going to go with the center point so we can keep that as a reference point. And we're going to type in the word Stay. We'll do it two centimeters, so that's 20 millimeters. Bold, rotate it through 180 degrees, which is right there. And hit OK. We're going to finish our sketch. And now we're going to rotate this slightly at an angle like this so we can see what we're going to do. We're going to go up to the extrude button. You can hit E as well on the keyboard, which is a shortcut for the same thing. And we need to have a new body. So we're going to extrude this outwards to make it longer. Click on the text and extrude it out. The longer, the better. I mean, that's going to all disappear later on anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference as long as you have enough space on the side in order to type in all of the text that is required. So we're going to be writing stay safe. So that's enough for the other word right there. Okay, after we've done that, we're going to go on to the right side. And we're going to create another new sketch. Click on the new sketch. We're going to do the same thing again. Create text using the same center point again. And we're going to type in safe same size and height as before and same font and that came in right there now we can finish that sketch we're just going to zoom in a little bit to see if there's any blank spaces that looks to be pretty okay this might be slightly large so we're just going to make it a little smaller just slightly so it doesn't get chopped off at the top but I think that should be fine overall now we're gonna go and rotate this again slightly we're going to extrude just click E on the keyboard once again we're gonna click on the text and this time we need to intersect the text that we wrote before so it's going to intersect through all of this. Okay, we're just going to go around this way. And we can see it's gone through the whole word stay there. So that's intersected. Hit OK. And as you can see, all the rest of the length has disappeared now. And it's as long as the word safe. So on the right side, we have safe. And on the front, we have stay. Okay, so it's going to be stay safe like that. We're going to move it upwards. Now, obviously, we have a lot of extra bits here that we don't need. So we'll just try and select the, uh, the ones that we want to keep. So, for example, we can just click on a letter. Now we can open up bodies on the side here. and We will know which body that is. This is body 14. For example, if you just go on the body, it will tell you which letter it is, and we can hide those. So I'm just going to go through and hide the ones that we don't need. And uh, I'm going to do this quite fast, so I'm going to speed up this bit so it's not too boring. Okay, so basically I ended up with these letters. You can obviously try and choose the letters that you like uh, the most. Some will appear a bit more curved, some will be a, a bit more flat. So it's up to you and your taste as well. But also try and select the letters that will be easier to print on the printer as well. 
Um, we will need to use supports for this, obviously, uh, but we'll see that in the next step when we do the slice a bit. So now, basically, this is pretty much done. So you've got stay at the front and safe on the right hand side. Now, what we need is obviously a base for all of this to sit on. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another sketch. We're going to click on the sketch. We're going to go to the top part so we can view it from the top. We're just going to pan a bit that way. Okay, let's just do this. And click the sketch again. Now, just move this. We're going to create a rectangle, three point rectangle. This is starting from around here and it should be from there should be enough. Just give it a bit more. So we're going to create a rectangle that goes from here to around there. And it goes down to around there. Okay. We're going to hit the extrude letter E on the keyboard or from the top icon up here. We're going to go around to the side and we're going to extrude this downwards. And I think five should be enough. So it's going to be minus five in this case, minus five. And that's going to be the base. Now, what I also like to do with the base is to move it slightly upwards. Okay, that's so the letters will have a bit more strength in the base when they're printed and they're not just kind of floating at the very top and just slightly melted with the base. So they have a bit more of support there. So we're going to move this up one millimeter is enough. Okay, just so the text gets slightly embedded in the, the base right there. So there we have that as well and that looks pretty good right there if you go to the right you can still see safe if you go to the front you can still see stay so there we go we've got stay safe this got slightly truncated i'm going to leave it like this i could have made it slightly bigger so that the the shape will come uh, properly but um it's it's good enough as it is as well so i'm going to leave that as is now what i also like to do to give it a bit more design is to grab the body and we'll select it body 17 and we'll give it a bit of a fillet so that the corners will be slightly rounded so we're going to press control and press on the corners after obviously selecting the fillet tool go around do that hold control and keep on selecting the corners and we'll give that i think maybe 12 that should be good enough looks pretty good there and that's enough for the s there at the front so that's pretty nice hit okay and there you have our stay safe design on the nice base so there we go stay safe fitting for these times so now basically we'll just go ahead and export right click on the document that we haven't saved yet and we're just going to save as stl and i'm gonna just i just selected custom you can choose one of your slices from the menu here but i'm just going to go to custom i've always opened up my Prusa slicer already here and i'm just going to choose Prusa slicer Click OK, and that's going to open up the slicer. There it is there. 20% infill is enough. We're going to just obviously put supports there, and I'll tell you why. So if we go to the layer view, we're going to see here, for example, that once it's building up from the base, that's fine building 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 what happens here for the a for example it has to do quite a bit of an overhang perimeter keep on building and as you can see when we start building further up here for example we have the s floating in midair 
So we obviously need to have supports here for the S. So what I'm going to do, you can do custom supports, but what I'm going to do is just create supports everywhere and then patiently remove them afterwards. So yes. And now when we slice it, we will have supports where required. Okay. Now we'll remove those after. It doesn't have all that many, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so basically we just export the code, send it to the printer and print. Also, you can create 3D anamorphic text by coloring the letters. The letters will help for the text to stand out more and be more distinguishable at different perspectives. So I hope you enjoyed that quick and easy tutorial of how to create 3D anamorphic text. Let me know what text you've created in the comments below. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching.